Pay attention to opponent's position. Opponent is anticipating another leap by waiting at the slight right center. Team could have done a Hello, I'm KJ, the father of Tim Lim, who is now one of the state level badminton players in Malaysia. If you missed the introduction on the neutral, controlling, and reactive, in short, NCR chart, you could find the video in my channel. With the NCR chart, the real question is how does it help us in our game? In this video, I will share with you a few examples on identifying opportunity for improvement through a rally in NCR chart. Let's get right into it. If you want to become a better badminton player or assisting someone to be one, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Take a quick look at the video. It's a rally dominated by team's opponent through executing hard smashes whenever he's in controlling mode. Team served. Neutral mode for both players. For second shot, Roponen opponent rushed to the front and pushed the shutter flat to team's forehand backcourt. A very good move by the opponent to get himself to the controlling mode. Tim is now in reactive mode. At third shot, Tim is forced to move fast to the back and recover the shot. Tim has chosen to swing straight line back court to back court. Now, pay attention to the opponent's leg. He has anticipated Tim's back court swing and in prepared position to execute another controlling shot. Let's analyze a little. If Tim can redo the third shot, what can he do different? First opportunity to improve in the rally is that he could have done a flat cross-court push at the third shot to neutralize the mode because opponent's legs are very much prepared to move backward to the opponent's forehand. If you were to do a cross-court to the other side, it would caught him by surprise. Then the outcome of the whole rally will be very different. At the fourth shot, very much prepared and in position, opponent jumping high and executed a cross-court smash. At fifth shot, Tim rushed back to the center. Anticipating the smash coming in, he stretched low on the right side of the court and defended the smash well, straight line into the net. The defense is done with high quality and put both players back in neutral mode. At sixth shot, Opponent dived low to recover the defense shot and did a high quality straight line net placement. Both players are still in neutral mode. Question is, why didn't the opponent just lift it high as it is already such a low position? This is simply because opponent wants to retain the controlling state. If he is doing a high lifting, team will then be in controlling mode and possibly attacking. I have to say that opponent is very skilled and matured in handling this situation. At 7th shot, Tim rushed back from the defense posture and forced a very high lift to the back court of the opponent. Two reasons why he has done that. Number one, opponent is waiting at the front court and if Tim forces a net placement, it is very high risk and the opponent might just kill it off at that time. Number two, when Tim made it back to the front court, the shutter position is already low. By lifting it high, it will buy time for Tim to return to the center. Of course, another high lift is putting Tim into another reactive mode again. I would say Tim did what he can do in this shot. At 8th shot, opponent now well in control mode. He moved fast to position himself for another smash. He did another jumping smash in the Tim's right hand side. At the ninth shot, Tim managed to defend it well by placing the shutters relatively far from the net. The return avoided the smash and tap follow-up from the opponent. Both players are now back to neutral mode. At the 10th shot, opponent placed the shutter at the front court nearer to the edge of the court at the right-hand side. Both players are still in neutral mode. Please support the video and press the like button if you like the analysis so far. It will help the video to reach out to a wider audience. At the 11th shot, Tim moved forward to lift the shutter to the backhand side of opponent. I must call it out that the real damage is done here because the lift quality is low. Despite the positioning is decent, the shutter is simply not fast enough to stretch the opponent, nor far enough to push the opponent to the baseline. It puts Tim into an extremely reactive mode. 
what could be done different here to avoid another reactive mode coming? This is the second opportunity to improve in this rally. If you pay attention to opponent's position, opponent is anticipating another leaf by waiting at the slight right center. Team could have done a front court placement and then guard the net. The whole rally outcome will just be different. At the 12th shot, opponent is all in control mode. He did a high speed body flip and executed an overhead cross court smash. At 13th shot, Tim tried to defend but the shutter gone out of the court. Another shot coming here by Tim which is not moving fast enough back to the center. If he moved quicker than what he did, he would have realistic chance to control the shutter direction better. Do you agree with the analysis above? Share with us, please comment at the bottom of the video so that we can all learn together. Remember, the more we share, the more we gain. Look at the NCR chart for this rally. The opponent is dominating the whole rally from start to end, with a few neutral states in between. At 3rd and 11th shot, Kim had the opportunity to turn the table but he didn't utilize the chance as well. After all, this is badminton. Things can just change in a fraction of seconds and that's how it is fun. Let's all learn and improve together. If you feel the video will also help people that you know, please share it with them so that we we'll all learn together. The more we share, the more we get.